great, great skills, great quickness, great speed. I have all of us, of all the champions, Greg had the hardest, hardest road to win a world title. I was there tonight, he won a world title at the, <coughs> at the Los Angeles Forum. He beat Raul Hiburo Perez, who from Mexico, LA was his backyard. One of the greatest super featherweights, uh, super bantamweights, junior featherweights of all time. He defended the title like 18 times. Greg Richardson, from some of the footage I've seen on him, was just a, a slick, slick fighter, fast, um, in and out, move. When, when Greg came in Los Angeles to fight, uh, fight uh, Perez for the title, I said he's gonna have a hard road to go because this guy's great. But Greg went in there and he dismantled him. Greg spanked him, gave him a boxing lesson from round one to round 12. He just, he, he, he totally frustrated, dismantled him, this guy. It was one of, the greatest, one of the greatest performances I ever saw. So not only did he beat one of the greatest fighters of that, of that uh, generation, that era, of that weight class, but he beat him in his backyard. I personally love watching tactical fights with guys like that or somebody that moves and has finesse. Greg Richardson was, was great at that. Greg would frustrate the, the crap out of every guy he got in the ring with and just saw boxing. Yeah, hand speed was phenomenal. And I think there's only two other people besides me rooting for Greg, his corner people and me. So I think um, that was the hardest road for any of us to win the world title. He didn't. And then what a great night he had that night. With a professional boxing record of 31, 8, and 1, former NABF and WBC bantamweight champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to our Youngstown champion, Greg the Flea 